So, let's take a look at some of the new features of layout that I've been working on. First of all, in the top you can see there's a great preview window now, so you get instant feedback on the changes you're making. Um, you can scroll around, adjust the camera in this. Okay, we're going to now edit one of the sprite scenery patterns. Here I'm just flicking through all the objects that make up this particular pattern you can see in the top. I'm changing the X position of the windsurfer here. Let's make him go for a surf across the highway. Uh, I also can change the individual items that comprise a scenery pattern. Let's change this to a hut. Um, just going to set the palette up correctly. Going to make this a little bit easier to do in the final cut, but for now it all works. Uh, so let's put this hut on the other side of the road. Cool. You can also adjust the shadow for each item. Uh, you can horizontally flip the item if necessary as well. Uh, this is all relatively, relatively straightforward and easy to do. The other cool thing now is that uh, you can change the path of the road, and some of the feedback um, before was that it was a little bit difficult to really figure out what was going on. Well now you can see exactly what the effect of the change you're making will have in the, in the final game. You can see in the top preview window there's a red square which represents the 4 by 3 area you'd see in Outrun. Here I'm flicking through some of the 230 scenery patterns that are built into Outrun. You don't have to use these, you're going to be able to create your own as well from scratch. Uh, it's a little bit more work doing this but it's quite straightforward. The other cool thing about the new preview is you can move both forwards and backwards through the level. The original engine has no way of doing this and you've got to display each level sequentially from start to finish. Uh, so I had to rewrite some of the existing Cannonball code in order to support this and the results are really cool. And then you've got a nice customised version of the engine that you have a lot more control and flexibility over.